Ooh, it's a little hot in here. I'm uh, outside playing fitness, about to go in, but um, just want to talk about uh, sowing and reaping real quick. Um, I was actually, you know, uh, doing some affirmations and I got into this, and so I, I just paused because I wanted to like record it. But um, sowing and reaping, like when you do things to people, can can and you know can what you do affect other people of course it can absolutely um everything you know is there's 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 a ripple effect to everything we do um it's like when you you know you throw a throw a pebble or something a small stone you know in the water you know I mean you know that ripple effect you know it, it affects that body of water um, uh, you know for a great distance it, it doesn't just affect the area where it's you know where it splashed where it went in where it entered the water after that you know that rock is you know splashed in the water and it's gone down and it's sinking to the bottom you know you still see ripples you still see that water moving as a result from that stone so yeah there's a ripple effect to everything we do and I was thinking about uh, somebody that uh you know they lost their daughter um and uh, it was like, well, um, could that have been, you know, a result of things that he sown, you know, throughout his life? Um, I'm always trying to figure stuff out, you know, like why stuff happens, you know. And ultimately, you know, you got to say, yeah, it's, it's absolutely, you know, it, it's got to be uh, a result of um, things he saw and uh, possibly also things that um, her mom saw, which caused her to lose her life. Um, I mean, not what it, is it a direct result of things that they did like to other people? First, that's what I was, you know, first, that's what I was thinking, you know, like, uh, oh, I only got 16 minutes. I got to start deleting some stuff. But I was thinking, you know, he, you know, he did so much dirt, you know, that was the only way it could come back on him. Cause nothing really seemed to be coming back on him, and then that happened, and um, you know that was that was his uh, harvest, you know, for all the dirt that he had did, you know, like throughout the years. But I don't, you know, think that's what what it what it was. And the person I was talking to, you know, about it, he agreed with me. But you know, as I think about, it, I don't think that's what it was. What it, it what it, what it was is, was um, the person doing that dirt, you know, to so many people for so many years. You know, there's a mind behind there's a mind working in that type of person there's a certain type of mind there's a certain way of thinking right behind a person that's doing dirt to you know so many people for so many years like whatever that dirt is there's a thought process behind it there's a mentality behind it you know there's a lifestyle behind it. Um, and it's that same thought process mentality 
that is teaching his daughter. Um, and so it just happened that uh, his daughter, um, she was out at, I don't know, early in the morning, like one, two or three in the morning or something like that when she got shot. You know, um, I had seen videos of her and she was, she was a little rah-rah, you know, uh, the video of her and the projects and, you know, just the, the whole, you know, her whole energy was, she was kind of street, you know, um, she was a reflection of her father, not in just the way she looked, but also in her character and her personality. You know, so um, that harvest is a result of the way she had been taught, you know, throughout her life. You know, um, you know, it's just a, a different mentality than somebody that's, you know, um, I mean, he, he kind of, you know, lived two different lives. You know, one side, you know, he's working and blah, 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 doing things by the book. And then on this other side, he's got this, like, this dark personality where he's doing all kinds of dirt that, you know, I don't know. I don't know the business. I, you know, I just know in general. Uh type of dude he was and what he was about type of things he was about so that's where the harvesting comes from is from planting all them types of seeds from a person with that type of mentality and that way of thinking that type of person is going to teach their child different things they're going to teach their child differently than you know somebody that is against all of that you know um so uh that's that's how it works you know there's a ripple effect like i said to everything we do you know and um even like words we speak words we speak to other people um attitudes a smile you know you could you could just give somebody a smile and that could have a ripple effect in their life um or you know like for that day or, you know, maybe like for like the next half hour, the next couple hours, you know, next couple hours, you know, that smile could still uh, be making that other person smile, you know, making that other person feel good. There's always a ripple effect. So um, I'm going to end right there because I think I made my point. But, um, you know, kids talking about kids specifically they and their parents you know kids model their parents behavior you know they don't follow so much what their parents say especially if what their parents say don't line up with what they do um, if a child is observing their parent and the parent is saying one thing but doing another thing they're going to follow what that parent do not what they say and so, you know, we affect our kids in more ways than uh, we could ever know. And, you know, the life, the type of lifestyle he was living was a dangerous one. Um, it was dangerous. Uh, it's a lifestyle he was a part of where he could have been killed many times. Now, that never happened to him. It touched his daughter, though. But those were the things, those were the types of things his daughter was learning from him. Whether he was consciously teaching her those types of things or not. You know, she was observing behaviors. You know, he was a well-known dude, too. So, you know, you know, uh, she probably heard people 
talking about him and you know like in a good way and you know different things and because he's a, he's a pretty popular dude he's kind of like the man in the streets and you know you know and so um, I think a lot of people admired him uh, largely because of maybe because of uh, the material things he had but um you know that whole mentality and even you know that you know like yeah, that whole way, uh, mentality that way of thinking you know his daughter adopted it and she looked up to her dad and wanted to model him and be like him and you know she to whatever degree I don't know but um yeah she she tasted what he avoided you know so everything is reaping and sowing everything it's just uh you know the key is to you know like when you um, experience a tragedy or whatever like you like for real you should be analyzing your life daily you know and um, just monitoring your harvest and you know asking yourself is this what I want do I like what I'm getting or maybe I need to change some seed that I'm sowing maybe I need to stop sowing certain seed and start sowing seed that I'm not sowing at the moment and you know you should constantly uh, be evaluating your life to make sure you're going in the direction you want to go um, and on that note uh, I'm about to get out of here about to go in here and work out <laughs>